I'm back. Oh shoot, I forgot this thing was still on. Hey, I gotta show you guys something cool. This is, this doesn't have anything to do with the video, but I got this while it's away. I technically now live under the sea. I have it on all the time because it looks so fucking awesome. I feel like I'm 20,000 leagues under the sea. This looks like the test rack, but then when you look up, it does all this. I should probably turn this off. I wish I could do that for a video and be in the dark, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to see anything well. So, uh, as you guys can see, I got the Wolverine hair now because it went with my chops. That is because I just got back from seeing my new favorite movie of the year, Deadpool and Wolverine. Sorry, I'm taking a long time to pause. I'm just, I still can't go over this movie. This movie was perfect. This movie basically summed up the, it's a love letter to fans of the Fox Marvel Universe and also Marvel fan, comic fans of the universe and MCU fans. This was a love letter to all of them. And this basically was a reboot that the MCU kind of needed. Ryan Reynolds did save this movie. And so did Hugh Jackman and Sean Levy. Those guys really did an amazing job. One thing I love about the movie about the movies is that they have all these fun musics from like the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s. They just sum up like the early 2000s music, some of the fight scenes, but also sort of the 90s. And then they have 80s and 70s doing some romantic scenes, and it's just so funny. And I love it so much. And the music in this movie was perfect and i love it so much also i have a little surprise to show you <laughs> alas poor wade i knew him well it's like looking in a mirror as much as i love pizza i probably wouldn't want to kiss a man who looks like a pepperoni flatbread sorry wade got my own head pool. If you guys don't know what I'm referencing, you should probably read Deadpool Core. But now I got my own head. This is a Deadpool popcorn bucket. You can easily open up. It's a little hard to open. There we go. This is a popcorn bucket. Well, fuck you too then. This is a popcorn bucket. You can dig inside and eat his brains out. It smells like Disneyland in here and I don't know why and I love it. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't eat any of the pop, I didn't eat any popcorn out of this. I didn't even put popcorn in this. I wish they had, they, they didn't, they have a similar one for Wolverine except there's a mouthpiece and you could pour it in through the mouth. I wish they had the popcorn bucket that they, <laughs> that they announced. but this is still cool because now I can recite Hamlet with this. But yeah, if I had the Wolverine one, that would also have been pretty funny and it would have been funny for the exact same reason. I'm probably gonna get my fun out of this, but in a different way. Not like that, you perverts. Get your mind out of my pants. You go at the center of my shelf. And in the center, we have glorious Merc with the mouth. Deadpool. I'm talking about my experience, but how was the movie? I already talked about the music in the movie. Now I want to talk about the cameos. The cameos will have you screaming out of your seat. I know it made me scream out of my seat. What? For the time that they're on screen, they really steal the show and I love it. And the references to the comics in this movie is just hilarious. Should I say this? That's fine. We see a road adventure between Logan and Wade Wilson, and it is hilarious. The fight scene that they have in the car is funny. The way this film was shot was so funny, and the way the music was timed with some of the fight scenes was hilarious, and I loved it so much. The story, 10 out of 10. Um, CGI. Some of it's mostly goofy, and it's supposed to be that way, as it fits certain characters. If you see the movie, you'll know who I'm referencing. As my friend Sam's Nerd would actually put it, this movie is beyond god tier. Those movies are some of the best trilogies you could ask for. My mom helped me do my hair for the occasion, and so I got my outfit ready. I have 
Deadpool shirts and my humor is mostly Deadpool, but I got the denim jacket. I have the hair. I have the chops. I have the claws. I actually don't think I would have been able to take these into the theater. So I use them for photo. Sh so I use them for a small photo shoot that I have with my mom. And this is how it went out. If anybody follows my Instagram, you can actually see how it went. experience was so much fun i got to have a really good dinner before and i went to the movie and with a full belly and a and a mind full of excitement and man was i blown away i teared up right at right near the end and then they they pulled it off perfectly and the post credit scene man <laughs> man you're gonna love it it, it, it's not going to be a teaser for any other next movie. But now that Deadpool and Wolverine are technically now part of the MCU, I'm hoping to see them more in like Avengers Kane Dynasty or a modern X-Men bit and also Avengers Secret Wars because they mentioned Secret Wars in the silencer phone thing, but I think that was mostly just for a joke. So I heard Secret Wars is finally going to introduce... You get reception down here? But man, that would be f so awesome to see them. I'm sorry, just, just my, just my, just my Deadpool head looking right at me. That's just, that's so cool. I love this popcorn bucket. It's looking right at me. Hi, handsome. I'm not being offensive to you. Love you. This movie had it all, and it was such a love letter to myself, who grew up on the X-Men movies, uh, and as a fan of the Deadpool movies, grew up on the MCU, and is a huge fan of the comics, as you can see from my past videos and from under my bed, Cassandra Nova was such a great villain and the other villains in this movie were awesome. I'm not gonna give too much away about the plot because if I did, I'd probably go way too into detail and spoil something or everything. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just giving you what was exciting about the movie. It's a Deadpool movie. It's got some great jokes, got some great action, got a beautiful story. It's just amazing. And the first movie was a love story. The second movie was a family film. The third movie was a road trip movie. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe it. It was a perfect finale for the Deadpool trilogy. It's perfect. Go see it. You will not be wasting your money or your time. This is so much fun. Also, a little side tangent, I was so invested in the movie, I actually forgot to eat my candy. I, I didn't even get, I, I didn't even bother opening it from the wrap. I just was so invested in the movie, I could not stop watching. I had so much fun. Man, that popcorn bucket is honestly pretty dope. I, I haven't really been this excited for a review or to talk about a movie since the Flash movie. And that movie is still one of my favorite movies of all time. But... Man, this movie was so much fun. Go check it out. Also, a little side tangent. The next video, spoiler alert, I'm shaving all of this off. Not my head, not my head. I'm growing my hair back out. But my chops, I'm shaving them off. But all this, all this effort to try and get this look was just for one day. This one day I peaked to just get this look right. Oh, I actually want to spoil one little detail. There's a specific song. Deadpool is jumping from time to time to look for Wolverine. And one of the songs that plays um, is The Power of Love. And that's such a hilarious reference to Back to the Future and that, because that's the first song that they play in that movie. And it's a movie about time travel or jumping from place to place. That's probably the only thing I'll probably spoil about that. Not really much of a spoiler since they actually talk about it on the soundtrack list. The, my top two favorite multiverse movies are The Flash and Deadpool and Wolverine. Flash is still number one, but Deadpool ties with it. So, the bet. So, if you want to see good multiverse movies, do the Flash and Deadpool and Wolverine. But we're not talking about the Flash. We're talking about Deadpool and Wolverine. This movie is great. A million out of ten. One of my favorites. This was just me ranting on about what stuff that happened, but also me ranting about how much fun this movie was. Go check it out. It was so much fun. And until next week, where I shave my beard off. Sayonara. That was the worst outro I did. Until next week, I will see you guys in the next video. Sayonara.